Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, Crook 110BL, this is the brushless edition. This is from Rotorius FPV, and this will spin uh, two and a half inch propellers and uh, have it currently set up to run 2S, it might run 3S possibly. Uh, I'm going to go over what I put in here and how I put it together. It's actually a fairly easy build, it's a very minimalistic frame, obviously 110 millimeters motor to motor. It's got this really interesting sort of design with these two legs here, and actually, you'd be surprised it's much stiffer than you would think. It's actually pretty stiff. Um, doesn't flex that much, so I think this will perform pretty well. Put some pretty good motors on here. Um, Airblade, uh, these are 1104 10,000 kV motors, and um, because these draw a lot of amps, I'm going with an XT30. The uh, power system I'm going to go with here is the uh, Eshin Mini Cube. Uh, it's basically a 4-in-1 10 amp ESC and then you got a uh, Omnibus F3 flight controller with an OSD. Uh, I have a video on how this is put together. I'll put a card in the corner on if you want to see details on that. Uh, basically it's pretty easy to put together and this is a pretty inexpensive setup. We'll run these motors no problem on 10 amps on 2S. The uh, camera system and that comes with it is also part of that Eoshin Mini Cube. This is basically the same power setup from the Aurora 100. But these are obviously parts you can buy uh, separately from Banggood. And this one uh, is a 25 milliwatt all-in-one VTX camera. And it does um, have an OSD out or video in and out to connect to the OSD for this. Uh, and it is connected right there in the front. The receiver I put on here is the uh, Flysky FS82. Uh, it's just a small micro receiver. And it's have uh, that direct side here with that connector here. and. I have the receiver rubber banded to the back of the camera mount here. The uh, camera mount here, this one fits this particular model. Uh, there's other ones available. So it looks like they've got ones for the other different camera sizes. Uh, I think some of the bigger ones like the uh, like this one here is probably for the uh, uh, VTX02 or I'm sorry, the uh, TX02. Um, they have even bigger ones here for some bigger cameras like the FX798T. Uh, these are all printed in TPU. I believe uh, you, you can choose one and uh, these other ones are cost, they cost extra. In terms of other 3D printer parts, these little uh, motor bumper guards here, I think these are also extra as well. Uh, you can check on the website, link in the description to see how much the cost of this is. I don't remember exactly. I also believe that soft mounts are uh, extra as well. You can buy those from the same uh, website, from the Rotorius FPV website. Uh, I didn't get any sent any of those white ones for this one, um, but instead I decided to soft mount the flight controller instead, so shouldn't have any issues with vibrations. So I've got a Betaflight 3.1.7 uh, flashed on here. Uh, you can check some of my other videos on how to how to set a Betaflight on some of these micros. Uh, especially these uh, these, these uh, Eugene mini cubes, They're, it's pretty straightforward. I'll put a CLI dump link in the description if you really want to see my PIDs. Um, this shouldn't be that difficult to tune, it's a true X frame. I think this will fly pretty well. Okay, so this is a weight measurement. This is fully built, but I just don't have the props on yet. I'm not sure exactly which props I will be using. Probably the Rotorex 2535s, but I might be using something else. But it comes in at about 50 grams, which is not too bad. Pretty lightweight, minimalistic frame. So um, I think uh, this should have pretty good power to weight ratio. So I'm thinking I probably want to go with a lighter setup on here in terms of the battery. So I'm thinking something like uh, 350 to 450 would be good for this size with a 2.5 inch propeller. You could go obviously bigger and I think it could carry as much as a 650 no problem. But uh, if you want performance I'm thinking 450 would probably be optimal. Um, I'm probably going to go with a, a GNB 450 2S on this one, and that's uh, what I'll be doing the flight demo with. And um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you some line of sight footage of this flying around, and then also the uh, flight demo, obviously. So let me know if you guys have any questions about this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. <laughs> it's really quiet. It's got a lot of power. I'm... Think, oh, it just wants to go up less than, oh, probably less than 25% throttle and still wants to go up. Oh, this is going to be a fast one.
Oh, it's going to get away from me. Wow, it's uh, really, really fast. Let me uh, feel the motors here, see if they're getting any hot or not. Alright. These uh, 10,000 kV motors aren't really meant to fly the 2.5 inch props, so these are pretty efficient props and they're pretty light, these Vortex. No, they're not even that warm. They're a little warm, but it's pretty warm today, so. Let's see how this does an acro. Let's do a punch out first. Whoa! Holy crap. Come on back. It's so floaty. Wow. That was not even half throttle. It was it was almost out of my sight. It's pretty windy. I didn't want to lose it. Oh, it's really floaty. Probably do two or three flips here. Yeah, that's three flips right there. Pretty crazy amount of power this thing has. Alright, let's go and fly at FPV now. <laughs> 